center of the shock wheel. Now, what is the shock wheel? Maybe the name gives it away. Uh, it's a wheel that actually has incorporated in, into it shock absorbing properties. And normally when you think of a shock absorber, you think of a spring that is uh, attached basically in a piston type of way. Uh, there are other types of shock absorbers like leaf springs. But in my case, uh, I'm using leaf springs or bows or bow spokes, uh, like a bow and arrow, instead of spokes to create a shock absorbing effect within the wheel. Here's an example. Now I've patented this. Uh, this is um, the first example of the shock wheel. And what this is, is uh, uh, just basically made out of Home Depot parts. And, uh, to, but it gives you a, a pretty good example of what it, what it really does. Um, here you have the hub, and uh, these are the bow spokes. As you can see, they're, they're shaped in an in a angle, much like a bow. And uh, so when all of a sudden there's a shock to the outside of the wheel here, there is a, a compressive factor that the bow spokes allow allowing for a certain amount of travel that the hub will will give relative to the wheel. Here's an example. Uh, when I press down on the hub, you see, you see the hub moving relative to the rim. Okay, and it works in all directions, which is extremely important, as opposed to uh, uh, the shock absorbers that work only on the angle that the shock absorber is at relative to the the hub and the wheel. So if it comes in at this angle, it will only travel this way, whereas this can travel even forward, straight up and down for small uh, bumps or you know big bumps or bumps of literally infinite different sizes. Uh, so this wheel here is my first prototype, just to show as an example. But uh, that apparently wasn't good enough for some uh, major. Uh, bicycle manufacturers thinking, hey, we would like to see this thing really in action. Could you get us a rideable version so we can actually see it? So it took me a long time to figure out all the different details and what not about uh, how to do that uh, and actually do the experimentation, the research and development, and the actual construction of a new prototype that is rideable. And so I have done that and within this video you're going to see a uh, number of different instances of me uh, riding the bike and it going over curbs and slow motion and regular motion and uh, uh, me playing around with it and showing you just basically how uh, well it works. Uh, and that's going to come after this little discussion. Uh, but also, also note that having had the experience of creating a bike that has a shock wheel on it and driving it around town. I have realized that part of the marketing for this is going to be word of mouth because when I was driving, and I swear, I, I've only taken it out a few times just to do the video and get a feel for it, uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing the reception that people give to this. I mean, just riding down the street, I'm stopping at a bus stop, and the next thing you know, people are talking to me, and I have a crowd around me, and people are like, hey, that's awesome. And I'm driving down the street, people are like, oh, that's one of those cool new bikes. Like, there is no such thing as one of these bikes yet. There's only one, and, and you know, I've patented this wheel, and, you know, there's only one. So there's no such thing as this bike yet, but it is already causing a stir among people that have seen it for the first time. And they look at it and say, what the heck is that? And then I show it to them, and they're just blown away blown away and so in a sense part of the marketing of this is going to be word of mouth and just based on the reaction that I've seen people just random 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 people uh, who 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 see this invention on a working bike are just they're blown away I asked some guy to take a picture of me with my iPhone to say you know while, while I'm first riding my bike and next thing you know he, he works at or you know went to university University of Chicago as a patent guy Next thing you know, he's he's hanging out. We're doing Starbucks, and you know he's all impressed and ready ready to uh, sink his teeth into my new invention. So, uh, you know, that's basically the whole idea of it. Now, uh, you're going to see the the new bike that I that I created. Uh, there are a couple very minor uh, alterations to the regular bicycle that 
you would want to make to allow uh, the regular extension travel of the shock wheel effect on a regular bike. Uh, you can use it with uh, pre-existing shock absorbers, so the piston ones on the fork and on the, uh, the rear uh, stays. Uh, you know, you, you can use it with that, but there's just a little bit of alteration that you need to do, and I've done that on this bike, and it took me a long time just to, just to do it. I went out and bought a regular bike, and I altered it for the sake of uh, the shock wheel. Uh, the bike that I have in this video right now, it's only the front wheel that is a shock wheel. The other one's a regular wheel, although I actually have all the materials ready to go to build a back wheel. I was just so excited to get it started to, uh, to make it to make a video and actually get this thing out there that uh, I didn't do the rear wheel. I, I actually have everything ready to go for it though. Uh, but anyway, in the case of this video, I wanted to get this out before I went to the task of doing the rear wheel. No big deal. But it's, it's really going to give you an idea that, uh, you know, it works and it turns bumps into butter. And I'll tell you that right now, when I'm going over a bump with these, with, with the shock wheel, I don't feel anything. I mean, it is like the most smooth feeling you've you've could ever imagine on a bike.